Ryan, uh, I guess what's the biggest difference uh, with the line room with Biz and Dorian gone as a position group? I think I've said it before. It's more it seems like more like a collective feel in terms of leadership and kind of how guys feel as that they're important. Um, I think everybody's taking a lot more accountability from top to bottom rather than just the top five or six guys, which not that we saw any of that last year, but there's a more focused eff- group effort from the younger guys and guys who've kind of been here for one or two or three years. With more of that cross-training going on, do you think it kind of fosters that, that outlook a little bit, just that accountability? And- Absolutely. I think guys kind of understand they're going to need to be able to play multiple positions in order to help our team, and that's something we focused on all summer too. It's not just something we've worked on this this fall. I've worked at right and left all summer, all spring. Uh, Jared's worked at right and left. Guys have worked all over the place. Um, I think that'll really help us in the long run. If somebody gets nicked up here or there, we, we know we have guys who can go in. It's pretty unique about this line, isn't it? I mean, you don't usually see guys moving around this much, I mean, especially three weeks into camp. Uh, right. I think that's, is that just kind of speak to you guys' versatility? Or? Uh, I think the fact that we're able to move around a lot speaks a lot to Coach Watson and how he kind of teaches us the offense as a whole. Um, you don't really kind of just memorize your job. You kind of understand the big picture. Um, so it's easier for a guy like me or a guy like Jared or whoever to step down the guard if we need to. Um, a guy like Books to move over to center if we need him. Um, so it's just it's a byproduct of all the good teaching we've had from the offensive coordinator and Coach Pete, Coach Patton. They've done a good job. So a couple of coaches have said that. I think you mentioned Coach Peterson and Coach Sherman said it too about learning conceptually. That there's a lot of conceptual learning. Is that is that something new for you guys this year? I don't know. I don't necessarily something say it's something new. You know, we always kind of try to learn conceptually a little bit, but. It's definitely something we've upped the ante a little bit, kind of try to increase our knowledge as football players. Kind of this is what we did last year. This is what we did the year before. Here's how we can grow from it. Here's what we did wrong. Not just this is what you do when I tell you to do it. Um, and that, that kind of helps a lot of guys understand why they do certain things and helps them get to where they're going. You've been playing with and next to Bookser for a long time. Did you know that he was able to do all these things, center, guard, tackle? It seems like he's everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I've known him for four years now. And, he can play all five positions on the line. I don't think there's many offensive linemen in the country who I can sit here and say with 100% certainty that he can do that. He can go in there and give a ACC effort and at any position of the five, and that, that speaks to his learning and his time in the film room. So I'm really happy with where he's at and look forward to see what he can do for us. You guys have two or three guys like that, right? You can play all five yeah, guys. absolutely. Um, I think Alex has shown it in his time here. He's played right, center, and left, really at a high level at all three. So um, he's even... Last spring, got a couple reps to tackle when we needed him to just because a guy's helmet broke or somebody's foot, foot shoe fell off. So um, he can do it all too. So, um, And he's also been here a little bit longer than the other guys and has been through another system too. Um, so he's doing a really good job and kind of he's able to help the second and third string left tackles or the second and third string right guards. He's playing left guard. You know what I mean? He can teach the centers how, what, why their snaps aren't getting back quick enough or whatever because he's been there, done that. Are you excited to see how all these pieces kind of get put together once the season actually starts? Yeah, I think so. I think there's always comes a time when kind of things got to settle down a little bit and you kind of find your niche and where, where things are going to be, but kind of just taking it one day at a time right now and kind of just plugging away. Ryan, are you hoping or expecting to be named the captain of this team? No, I, that's not something I worry about. I don't, I don't worry about a title or anything that comes, comes with that responsibility. I just try to lead the same way every day, be the same guy every day, and come to work with the same energy every day, and I think I have, and whatever happens, happens.